here we are. It's finals. It's been a great tournament. Feel very happy with how I've done. I'm excited to be in the final round. I started slow in this tournament. I won one of my first six games, but I have won seven of my last nine. So I'm playing good scythe at a good time. For those of you unfamiliar with the format, there were four preliminary rounds where people played to try to qualify for semifinals. I was able to qualify for semifinals after some good rounds and some bad rounds, but I won where it counted. And then in semifinals, I won the set. And here I am in finals. The three of us in finals, you can see up there, are Zottle Scratch, myself, and Joy Division. Each of us will pick a faction and mat combination, and then we'll each get a chance to play the other's combinations. So up ahead are three different games. Anyone who wins two wins the championship. Each person wins one game. Then whoever scored the most points in the games they lost will take home the tiebreaker and the championship. Okay, let's see. Zodal Scratch drafts Polania. Then I guess we'll, I won't draft Polania. Let's go for better or for worse. Let's go Nordic. Hog Industrial. And I'm going Nordic Militant. Mechanical. Makes sense that Joy would choose Tagawa Industrial. He's good at it and it's hard to play. Look at these objectives. They're both impossible. Uh, I'm not going to use my reset on Tagawa though. I'm going to need it on somebody else. I just have to play to inflate my score. I'm not optimistic that I can win on this combination. So having a doable objective isn't as good, in my opinion, as saving that objective. Run another faction. It may come back to bite me. I have a great game, but I can't end. But uh, what I'm going with. Always get a good factory card and get three BRA stars, I suppose. Suicide into force someone and force them to end. My score is high enough. Nordic with a different opening this time. My combat cards, they're good at least. Trade for metal from Polania, no doubt. Then we'll see what happens with the encounter. Round three, let's get an encounter. This will have a lot to do with how my game goes right here. And it's terrible. Oh, gee. No resources. Really needed resources here. I mean, the power is nice, don't get me wrong, but... Maybe a little while before I move again. Um, let's get cute. I've got three fives. That's nice. All the combat cards I'm going to need. Not amazing for Polani. The, the uh, fruit will be nice, but the food is kind of awkward. You get three, you have one. Missing one for another enlist. So he's looking at factory turn eight. Which is good. Good for me.
think what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade for oil, bolster into an upgrade, and start moving. And also move a worker up here. And just get my workers a little slower down here. But I have four mechs to get, so I think that's okay. Right. Nothing amazing for Polania. Good. See a trade for metal here from Polania, probably. Boy, I've got one coin. Not ideal. At least I have the one though, that means I can get two more power. And I'll get three coins off the upgrade, which is nice. Probably a trade metal here. Maybe some oil too. Move to the encounter next turn. Okay, back to three coins. Lania, going to bolster into a mech here. Speed. Next will be Submerge. Now do I go Ronin or do I go Sutan? That's the question. Nordic may be going with the upgrade this turn. I like this Nordic opening all right. I feel like it might be a little slow, but Polonia didn't get an amazing encounter. Nordic would have been in serious trouble if Polania had got a great encounter and gotten to the factory in turns five or six. Hmm. I'm gonna go Sutan. We don't want to get blocked off the factory. Mech number two, Bonnie on the factory in turn eight. Winning, but no one has a score yet. That means anything. Nordic hits the encounter this turn, takes a slight lead. Well, that's nice. Four metal or a structure there. What did they upgrade? They upgraded either one of these would be really good for them. That's enough metal for them for two max. They have enough for the third. Certainly taking a mill here.
Let's go ahead and move. The spot isn't particularly vulnerable yet, especially if we cover both of these lakes. Lonnie goes to the factory this turn in all likelihood. I'm Helania here. I blocked Nordic off the factory with this second mech. That's a good move too. Set themselves up for a second enlist. The good card. And get two bottom row actions off that. Oh, and they get their objective, King of the Hill. Nordic is vulnerable to an attack right now from Polonia. Go to five workers, not six. Polani can hit one of these spaces, but if they do, they can't use their factory card, so I don't really think they want to. Um... Let's do, it's either Shinobi or Ronin for sure. Shinobi's the threat of counterattack. This would be a nice time for Joy to attack me down here. He only loses one pop, which he won't have anyway after using a factory card. He's not going to do it though. I would have considered it. It's a good play, attack me, send me home to base. I wish I'd gone for Ronan now. Now what do I want to do? I'd like to produce again. Hmm. 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 
A lot of power on mechanical there. Do I want to block those? Is Polani worried enough about me to go after that? The answer is probably not. Could have traded for metal. That would have been another good play, I think. Does he bump these workers? He risk a trap. Does he go get an encounter? There's three max and two enlists. Nordic has no enlists, enlists but two max. Lord, I can't move to the factory, neither can I. I can get Ronin now. Nordic with five power, but only one card means if he even if he doubles up on the factory. Go in and win the fight. Doesn't have artillery yet. But it'll probably produce here. Yeah. It, yeah, it was a produce. This trap. Pretty hurtful to anyone who hits it, even Polani at five cards. Still, I want to double up on this tunnel, I think. Polani could have hit these earlier and didn't. Polani going after Nordic. Makes sense. Probably their biggest threat this game.
and a double attack. No Seaworthy to worry about. That may be Nordic's game right there. They left themselves exposed with that one combat card. They should have enlisted earlier. They're in some serious trouble. They can see worthy to the lake, so they can get to the factory and have two cards. Oh, wow. It's a serious bluff by Polonia. And that's another enlist for Polonia. Now Nordic has two cards. May actually fight this one. We'll see. Polonia in the lead now. No, Nordic chooses not to fight it. He's gonna spend some power and grab another card. Probably retreat to the lake. Polonia is still in the best position power wise. Only bring one unit though. Which means if they go to the factory this turn, I'll be able to win on the factory. I may try to do stockpile after all. Nope, he's just going to go for the fight. Drain Polonia, that's good for me, I think. How would I get stockpile, though? Nordic wants that metal back. Where is it? Oh, it's under Nordic's character right there. It's still there, though. Yeah, right here. Lonnie's got a choice now. Which one and how much do they defend? Lonnie just needs... What was that? Okay, so Polani is still lined up to take the mech. Wins it pretty cheaply. Three combats for Polania. Just the two stars from it, though. Wins it back cheaply. Everyone conserving their power in this game. I would like to see people drained more than they were, but take what I can get. Factory time. To double guard this. Don't have that many combat cards, and unfortunately, all of these cost combat cards. 
Oh, man. If I'm not going to win, driving my score up with the coins is probably good, but I'm only going to use it a couple times. This one. No such thing as combat denial right now. Game's about over. Time to play like it's over. Start trying to maximize points here. Got 28. All right, what are we going to upgrade here? Probably produce and build. Too late to build though. This game's going too quickly. Probably hasn't saved any good cards. Actually, I had. Do I have over 30 points though? Yeah, 35. Something. Lonnie, you turned in the objective yet? Yeah, they have. You need a mech and then list. There's still a counter there? There is. I'm trying to get the enlist off the encounter, I guess. See, I can produce one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight resources. So I can actually get stockpile. Hopefully there's no enlist in here. There's food, however. And Mac. One popularity, so he can take one and three, which is undoubtedly what he'll do, I think. Although if he uses both of those popularity, he can't use the factory card for the last Mac. If I build a building, it's going to give Polania the last pop they need to use the factory card, unfortunately.
Hmm. Do I go for stockpile or do I just spread? He just took number one. I don't know about that. Nordic going to try to take that food back away from Polania. Send everything home. Rick at just 28, eight coins on that militant mat. Going to get a mech this turn, however. Well, he has no cards. I move now. Block Nordic off the factory. Not that he's really a huge threat to take it. I've run in, so that'll counteract artillery somewhat. So, Alania can trade for two food. Nordic can't move. Polani enlists. I'd rather have the Max Star, I think. And stockpile. This is going to let me spread. Not what I expected there. Arms and Tundras. Clever move. And he gets the food he needed. It worked out. the building. No popularity though. Is he taking the pop bonus already?
He has coin left. He's counting on me to build. What's going on? Question is, do I want another upgrade? One, two, three, four. Money is going to spread out here. Oh. Oh, he can't get it. He can't get the recruit. There's the pop he needs. And there's another pop. It's close to the build star. Doesn't actually need the max star if he gets the build star. Nordic trying to tamp down my score at this point, even though I pretty clearly can't end. Does he artillery me and use his last power? This is actually kind of nice as I think about it. This gives me a card I can use on my my factory card. What it looks like he's playing to maximize score. Give me a combat card. I have the territory. I have the star. I just want a combat card. What is my point maximizing move? Hmm, I could retake my food, but I have enough cards right now for as long as this game is probably going to last. Okay, how many do I need? I think this will work. We 
the cards list. This with me. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got a nice score. I'm not going to go for stockpile. I'm just going to try to get as much spread as I can and make stars. I always got to be worried that I'm going to end the game. Doesn't know I don't have an objective. He can take the factory anytime he wants, though. Nordic can't artillery me anymore. Has two combat cards. They both have at least two combats, so there's not going to be any suiciding into anyone. And I have one combat. Yeah, I'm not. Never mind, I'm, I'm not even close to ending. This is like the stall game of all stall games. Need three. Let's see if next turn I move one guy down here, two workers up here, and attack. Or I could attack twice, amp down Nordic score a little bit, which since Polani is going to win would be a good idea. Character's trapped, so there's no... No, using the factory card for the last building or Mac and then trying to pick up the enlist off of an encounter that won't work. Lonnie's up in the lead by 11 right now. Could attack Polonia there and there. Almost does him a favor to get sent home at this point, though. Doesn't matter. He's ending next turn. The game's over. Hmm. And take two territories away from Polania that drops into 52. Boost my score. I have to do that.
Oh, just enough. Perfect. And let's go with something. What do we want to go with? Have no popularity. We can't produce. Probably not going to bolster. Going to go on this spot because that's the bonus. Could go with this, but I don't really need power, so here it is. I'm not sure Polani can end. Or they would lose two. Well, they get coins though. With two coins, plus three for the star, that's five, and they lose two, that's three. Four, five, six, seven, lose two, that's five. I think I think they have enough. They're gonna lose two points from spending this. I'm gonna put them at forty-nine, and then they're gonna gain. Three for the star, which puts them at 52. Two for the enlist, which puts them at 54. And then two for the coin bonus, which puts them at 56. But I got a good score with Tog. Loses two for the resources, which I guess he's not thinking about, but he gets two for the bottom row action, so yeah, he gets it by one. That's cool, though. It's cool, though. Wasn't going to win that game, I don't think. But I got 55 to score. Okay, what do we have here? Send one back. And build local infrastructure. Send one back's really doable. I bolster over deploy with mechanical. Not going to reset for this. Z's on TOG this time. Move standard there. Got joy on Nordic. Maybe we can bully him. The way he bullied Z last turn. Trade for metal, solid. Maybe trying to rush the factory, we'll see. Hopefully a good encounter option this game. Maybe a move, worker out here and the character out, trade for metal again, move to the encounter. I think is probably win.
sure enough. Try to beat me to the factory. Fully expect Joy to target me this game. Tog's best hope. That is a great encounter. That four wood's amazing. He can build a mill there. It's much better than what I got. What I got was kind of trash. But hopefully the bad luck in game one on encounters translates into good luck here in a minute. I win the race to the factory, and there's an enlist factory card, enlist for a pop waiting there for me. This is a game that I really need to win to have a shot. Nordic wins this game, the set is over. Gawa wins this game, I'm in trouble. Thinking about this long and hard. And take the enlist. Take the coin enlist here, maybe. And no doubt, no, he takes combat cards. So it's zero power. That's a little surprising to me, to be honest. All right. Mm. Take this. This is two bottom row actions. Okay. Let's think this through. Take the three dollars for the enlist, and we take this one. And let's take power for the center of the board. Combat cards are okay. Can Nordic beat me to the center of the board? Power. There's two of mine listed out of the way. That's nice. Interesting. It's open for metal on the encounter, I guess. So can he make it there in turn nine? One, turn mech. Got to wait on the enlist, even though I'm going to miss out on a coin. Well, I know what Nordic gets on this encounter and whether he can beat me to the factory. He doesn't get metal on this. Stall out and be a little slower to get to the factory. He doesn't get metal. Doesn't take number three. I think that probably would have been a good one for him. Be worthy. Protect himself from me attacking. So how quick can he get to the factory now? Deuce, trade for two. Deuce. 
Trade for two metal. Enlist. Like turn 10 or something. Now we take cards. Pick up a five, that's great. Seven coin. Four doesn't mean a whole lot right now. Nordic's got to produce or trade for metal, right? There's a trade for metal. It's a card, another card my way. I'm up to seven of them. That's good. God, we're racing for the factory now. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn ten. So six mech, seven metal. Does Tagawa beat me to the factory now? Did I get too cocky here? I think I, I think I let Tog beat me to the factory. There's a trade for metal in seven. Play the mech in eight. I'm on the factory in nine. Got was seven. Eight. Can't move in nine. No, maybe I beat Tog to the factory after all. Tog can move. Takes him three turns now. It just takes me two turns. Okay, I'm going to beat Tog to the factory after all. No detours. another combat card for me. Four threes is nice. One five is nice. Back to see Tagawa move here. Not too shabby here. Good positioning. Comes another mech. Dog only has three combat cards. Probably unwilling to throw down all three.
what I get here. Normally I'd block that, but I kind of want to keep Togawa off the factory if I can. Um, which game do I want to play here? This is my rush game right here. The one I want to play. Lower coin, but I don't want the game to go as long because the tiebreaker scores from the other factions will get higher. I mean, this one almost guarantees a win, though. These players aren't going to let me have combats without losing pop until I get camaraderie anyway. Gawa can attack this turn. They have Sutan and Shinobi. They do not have Ronin. Their speed. All right. Star number one. Head, but just barely. Oh, I can't move this turn. Doesn't do a whole lot to attack Nordic here. Gets it done for artillery. Two cards right here. Nordic at 14 coins. Don't really need popularity this game, River Wall. One, two, three, four, here, five, six.
Nordic off that farm. Simultaneously set myself up for the list. Not abandon the factory. I have pop, so I could produce here twice for two enlists if I need to. It's got a coin lead, and that's just going to get bigger. Nordic thinking about fighting me here. Interrupted his engine for sure. Oh, this is interesting. Some spread here. Nordic's up significantly. So he wins, this is over. Funnel me another card, Tagawa does. No one's building. No one's really upgrading. A lot of metal. Got artillery now, I'm sure. Yep. Yawa goes all out here. Oh my gosh. That hurt my score. Mm -hmm. Need points. And I need combats.
Then give me send one back as well. Two. It's gonna give me four popularity if I take or three popularity if I take two for a four. Can Nordic attack me and will Nordic attack? 2v1, oh, that's a story. And he's got artillery. Can't hit me there, those. Twenty five, just nine off the lead now. Gal was weak on the factory. Probably four coins. Here comes mech number three out of Nordic star and more points. No factory card for them though. Reduce gives me another star. Coins. One coin, really, because I have to spend the coin to produce. It's me to 27. Start spreading. Nordic's going to consolidate Max here. No pop. Take resources. Just going to take metal and keep racking up coins, what it looks like. Eleven off the lead. Seem to be more. Fifteen. We can't move, not off the lead. See, the most you can play here is four, but I get artilleried. Be nice to have an upgraded move here. No one to fight on lakes, unfortunately. So if I fight Nordic here, is it even enough? It's not a star, thankfully. Twelve. I have to assume this is a coin trap.
So if I go here and here, isn't enough. I need 12. I get six from the stars, six from the factory. It's 12. Here's 14. Here is 16. It's two. Nordic doesn't lose two, though, but he loses one. That's 17. This four is 13. Man. I think it's enough. Okay, two. I mean, I can win both these battles. Hog can only play seven, which means I play five. Okay, now Tog will get the benefit of Ronin, so Tog will be able to play nine. So I need to play a five and four power. That would put me at five power. It's so close. I had a triple move. I beat Nordic here. I save my five is what I do. And I play. The guy will already play three fives, and I have a fourth. There probably aren't fives out there. I'm going to take a chance. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go to 32 after this fight. Two stars. 38. Two territories is 42, and I take one away from Nordic. I spend four power, I go to five. Oh, he saves a power. He has another five, but he saves a power. I hope I did my math right. The finals is over if I didn't. Five. Do my math right. Five up. I take a territory and a star, which is five. Take a point away from him, and I get a point. He doesn't lose the territory, but I gain the territory and take away the re. It's enough. Yes! It was enough. I did the math right.
That one I needed to win. Ooh, if Tog throws everything there, I lose that game. Okay, technological breakthrough work for me. Just need a factory call. Turn 10 factory. Just need Tagawa to lose and to have more points than Tagawa. Significantly ahead of both tiebreakers. I beat Zottle in the tiebreaker no matter what. So if I get second place or third place by a close margin, I just need Tagawa not to win. What it comes down to. And to get a good score. Well, I need to go in with a different opening here. Not going for the double metal trade. List is good. I don't think that's what he wanted, though. Almost bankrupt him to take that in list. I don't think he wanted the food. I think he'll take the worker, though. So that means he needs power to produce, which he doesn't have. He was, he's planning on trading for oil and bolstering, though. I don't think this is the encounter he wanted. Last game, oh my gosh. Melania doesn't get a good. Oh, Melania's going with Strat. I like this. I like Melania not rushing to the factory. Means I'm less exposed for longer. My one card is a four. That's good. Just need to get to the factory and I get my objective. This is interesting. Really different start out of Melania. I don't, I mean, we'll see, but I don't really like it, being honest. All right, we're at three cards now. Oh, and they're all good. Uh, going for factory. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beats me there. Okay. Fight him for it. Five. Some metal and worker. I'm, I'm, right now, I'm more worried about Tagawa winning this game. Money going to the factory now, I think. Got a slight coin lead. So odd. I'm gonna put a mill over here. Oh, and it gives him metal galore. Wow. I almost like that though. I need to go to not win this game. Polonia wins this game. That's okay if I have a good score. Beat Zottle on the tiebreaker. He can't win the set at this point. Because the minimum I get is 30, and that puts me at 85, and he's in the 70s. So I just have to make sure Tagawa doesn't win this. And I have to be... I'm up 13 points in the tiebreaker on Joy, so I can't lose by more than 12. But if Tagawa wins, the tiebreaker obviously doesn't matter. I also have Divide and Conquer. If I can't get to the factory, I can do that. A lot of metal. He's planning putting a mill here, but he sticks with the strategy. Right there with everybody's score. Got a coin lead. Long has got the points he has because. Go into wood, all those workers can produce. Go wins the race to the fact. See what Mech Polani goes with. Maybe submerge. Nope, speed. God, we can't move this turn. ahead right now about to not be true though I need to just play this like it's a 1v1 versus dog hard to tamp down to Gawa's score though trade for metal instead of a produce not see that coming up. That's seven workers for Polani. It is.
Hmm. Ronin is out. I have good cards. Take a chance here. Give me metal. Yes, it pays off. The risk pays off. All right, how am I doing on resources now? I need six metal, I'm about to produce four and I'll have six. I just have one produce and I'll have all my resources and then I can trade move the rest of the game. Lonnie is in no position to steal them right now. Not yet. Lonnie's got a good bit of coin. Still got to get two power. Lonnie doing on those enlists. Just got one. Gawa up at the moment. Good card. Lonnie, go fight on the factory. No Shinobi for Tagawa, but they are sitting next to the factory there. We can play two cards. Oh, I need a trade. I need to wait on the factory. I will use the factory card to build. by six. Where'd the character go? Down there? Odd. This is kind of a different strategy out of Polonia. Okay, moving this turn so it can't reach me this next turn. And take the power. Now, as weird as it sounds, I just need to play out the game. Artillery out next. 
Now we use the factory card next turn. A good move would be to move here and block the factory from me. Hmm. There's Shinobi. Oh, I thought Tog used the factory card last turn. I'm confused. I mean, the game didn't let him do that. I just must have missed something. Uh. I can pick up one territory. My workers to here. Gotta do this to keep them plenty from actually stealing resources. Coin trap. You probably eat it without too much trouble. I don't need resources. I won't have resources. I'm not paying for max when they're be just given to me. A factory card's not really any help. This one's probably my best bet. Head now. Oh, I can bring two units to fight me. Rated move? They don't. We're going to 1v1 me on the factory. Oh, I see what happens here. Lonnie has saved his power. Oh, no. Building number two.
11. Still a waste from ending though, right? Is an objective. Mac. Two buildings. Not that far away. Oh no. Thirteen. Point trap is painful. Be nice to have the popularity in list right now, wouldn't it? Gonna upgrade, I don't think. The one popularity does nothing for me, really. Getting two. There's a five. Nice. Third. Can I hold the factory against the go? Lonnie, you can move next turn. Gonna play three power max. He'll get run in, but then he'll that one card. Three plus five is eight.
that do for my score? They're with Tog now. And he can't run him back to this spot. He'd have to leave the factory to fight me. Should have saved the power for artillery, but I didn't think about it. Mm. I should have checked, but yeah, Polonia doesn't have river walk, so they can't reach the spot. I gotta be careful about suicide here. Dogs at four stars, too. Two buildings away, which they can get in two turns. An objective. Do they have two combats already? Two. Lonnie is not stalling. Coins though. Pay a coin, get two resources, spend three. Pay a coin, lose a coin, get two coins. Two is five, get 50. Dog to I pop. Can I reach an encounter? We we'll go to tier two. What's tier two worth? Ten points. The coin. Go to fifty five. That's Paul's last building. Wayne. Two, three, six. No, I don't get a star for that. Got to think about this. That's me back unless I get wood off this encounter. Gives me tier two and I can get some spread. Can Tog do next? Do a regular move and decide me for the win. I wish I had one more resource. Three pop. I'm back card in one pop, or I spend two dollars. But I take three pop and I have two extra. So I can bump workers or attack a spot like over here. 
artillery. May regret that two dollars. can't attack this spot actually that's my river walk not that that would be polonia I'm up by five. Bonus. Yeah, we can build. Be up by seven if I'd just taken the free pop. Mm. More encounters for me. I'm gonna have to trade my way to food. And take resources. To build and bonus. Pull ahead, but just barely. He has a popularity for the factory card. He can end next turn if I don't do something. Regular move and 1v1 me. is touch and go here. What are you doing, Paul? Hmm. Oh, he can't in next turn. He could use his factory card, but he has nowhere to build. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can't end. Bonnie can move.
Okay, so if I invade Polonia, one, that's one turn, turns three turns, and end in three turns. Um, I trade for food, move, trade for food, I end in. Yeah, am I sure here? Galway needs another building. Cannot move, cannot use the factory card because all the workers are on the spots that they're building. Lonnie still doesn't have river. Lonnie doesn't have a factory card and doesn't have a mech on the wall. Even if I move this mech off of this lake, this spot stays safe. Hmm, so close. What does Polonia need? Objective and two combats. Polonia could end. They don't win. They can't win anyway, so what do they do? I lose two territories, that would be six, I'd be four down. How oh, I'd win. Does he have Toka? He has all his mechs. So he could factory card to there, take my food. Then I take it right back, right? Go to four power, knock him down to two. Ooh. That one has one card. Is that a normal move? Didn't build. Guess he couldn't have ended. Guess he couldn't get his objective.
The Gawa still can't end. I was wrong. He could have could have moved and built. I was wrong about that. Alani is spreading out. Turn in an objective pole. Come on. All right, what's the guy we're going to do? He can move, and build, get an objective, and end. The guy we would have three and a two, I just have four. So what's my biggest point play? Okay, so if I use the factory card, I can pick up two territories. Probably move here, here, and here. Myself up for a combat on the factory. What's that? Two territories? Six, be 58. Problem is, if I hit Tagawa on the factory, he just comes back and takes it, right? Could do a regular move and pick up one, two, three, four territory would be twelve. That would put me at sixty-four. Hard for Tog to catch at that point. I have to stall. No, I just pick up three territory. Nine. Sixty one. Hog passes me. Can I feed Polonia points to stall? They're at six. We can give them three, put them at sixty. Not enough either. Can I hit them twice? No. Ronan's a problem. If I use this though, can I take the factory? Because I can artillery them. It'd just be two and one. 
play four. I have a card and run and he just take it back. Just got to move the most points I can and hope for the best. Three, six, nine, that'd be 61. Can end and win. He can get his objective in his last building. He won. Sorry. <laughs> Good game, Joy. Well played. Agawa Industrial. Good on that combination, like I said. What would I do differently? I don't know. I got clustered up in here, and that was bad. Don't think I could have taken the factory and held it. Would have moved over there with one move. Come back and taken it, it would have been the same thing. Ah, oh, so close, guys. So close. Great tournament. Just came up short. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll catch you next time.